my name is Deacon Marlon Rice, I'm a real name. I play Mr. in the play, and um, uh, of course, uh, Mr. is uh, the antagonist and uh, old guy, and he wants what he wants. He was the man, and a uh, tough road trying to get into the play is so far from my actual personality. Found Christ at the end, you know, he uh, he found out where he was in the air of his way. So uh, it was Mr. for all y'all who like to play. We love y'all, and we thank y'all for coming. My name is Contessa Humphrey, and I play the character of Squeak in the play. And what my character basically is, is the girlfriend of Harpo. It's the one who comes in when Harpo and Sophia gets into a fight, and I'm the girl that comes along and sees Harpo, and he wants to be with me, and we be together, and me and Sophia, we end up getting into an altercation in a juke joint. She knocks me out, and that's it. My character is very shy, very timid, do not have confidence um, because, you know, she gets, you know, sold to Mr. Um, and she's very scared, very shy, you know, and she had to work like a mule. So, and when Sugar Avery came, it made her have confidence in herself and made her see life and, and love herself and find God. Celie sings and she says, I'm beautiful. It just shows that you can have confidence within yourself no matter what people say about you. So I think that they'll get, receive that from this play. How women were treated in that day, I really feel like my character was the rebuttal. Like the character that's, that doesn't take that kind of mess, doesn't play that. You know, it was just an awesome experience being able to, you know, personify that kind of attitude, that kind of person. It's like a from the time frame, it was written like an early feminist type of movement, and I just, I really enjoy bringing that character to life. Well, a lot of times working with Bishop Haynes, it's an awesome experience because she, she kind of, she likes to go with the energy of the group she's with, so she's really big about, you know, feeding the energy and just, and, and going with, and like really becoming your character. It's, it's not more so about learning your lines or different things like that. I mean, that's also an important part, but the biggest thing she emphasizes is becoming your character and just feeding into the energy of the group so, you know, the production is as effective as possible. This production was something that we wanted to do for the community. And we thought about it probably about a year ago uh, during the Black History Month, which is February. And it was something that we said, okay, let's try to put a little something together. Well, then the Color Purple developed. And from that, we started working on music and some of the other things that we wanted to do to make the production come to life. Um, couldn't do a full movie, but we were able to give uh, the community enough to try to say, hey, you know, uh, this is what it is, the Color Purple. And it's one of my favorite old times uh, movies, as well as most of the community. So it's a, it's a uh, great effort for the community. So we're going to do it again next year, and I need you to go to www.thecolorpurplegospelplay.com.